Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Wow You Should Know This. I'm Jordan. That's Connor. And in this weekly digest, we talk about things that happened in World of Warcraft this past week. And first up this week, another round of patch notes were released with minor changes to each class. Honestly, not much happened. You could probably skip reading this week and just save yourself the two minutes. Everyone's invited to the Warlords of Draenor premiere party in LA this week. You just have to get there. They'll be premiering the Warlords of Draenor cinematic as well as announcing the release date. Attendees that go in person are also going to get a beta key. So does anyone want to fly us to LA? Blizzard gave us not one, but two new zone previews this week. Among them was Nagrand, which the devs believe will give some much needed nostalgia to the popular Outland zone. And the other zone, Spires of Iraq, will be a deeper dive into the Arakoa storyline before they were entirely evil as a race. Both zones offer unique outpost choices ranging from unique mounts, purchasing rare goods, or gaining rusted XP while anywhere in their respective zone. I can still remember being driven home from Best Buy with World of Warcraft in hand. After the four disc, multiple hour installation process, I was finally able to log in and create my first character in a game that I would be playing for the next 10 years. To commemorate the amazing success of World of Warcraft, Blizzard will be releasing a couple new amazing features for their 10 year anniversary. First will be a 100 v 100 PvP battleground to replicate early day slaughter in Hillsbred Foothills. Second will be a revitalization of Molten Core to allow 40 level 90s a chance to relive glory of defeating Ragnaros, Corehound Pet included. And lastly, just for logging in during the anniversary, we'll grant you the super cute Flame Corgi Pet. Cheers to you, World of Warcraft. In Blizzard's blog series of vintage raids, they showcased Karazhan this week. The raid gives players a chance at one mount, four battle pets, and many transmog options, including the hentai staff. Most 90s should be able to manage this, but Blizz calls out that Medvis chess match may be the deciding factor. Best of luck to all of you. And your bonus roll this week is a short illustrated comic starring Goldan and a stranger. Ooh, check it out. It's an entertaining read. And with that, this is Wow, You Should Know This. That's all for this week, and we look forward to starting the official Warlords of Draenor countdown next week. We may have something special in store as well. I'm Connor, that's Jordan, and we'll see you next month.